Okay, one of the most common questions about how to start a farm to school project is how do I find out who is producing what locally? So what I'd like to recommend is that the easiest way to get a hold of the local farmers, it's either to go to the Saturday market and you can talk to them directly. If that works out, if it's a different time of the year and the farmer's market is not happening, then you can just do a simple Google search find out what farms are in your area and reach out to them. You'll find that sometimes it's difficult to communicate with the farmers because they don't spend their days behind their emails. So sometimes it's hard to reach them when you want to talk to them. So I would recommend continue to email them and continue to call them. Calling is probably a better way to reach them because they have their phone and they're not checking their emails all the time. Another really good way would be to find food hubs in your area. Again, you can find this through the internet. You can just do a search and find out who has already brought all the local farms into one place. This makes the process a little bit easier. This also shows you that the farmers are ready to start selling to a larger kitchen like yours. Reaching out to local grocery stores is another really great idea. If you just go to the store and find out who the manager, the produce manager is, then you can ask them a lot of questions about where they source their things. Uh, some stores are gonna carry local produce, some are not. So this is something that you just have to call and ask. Once you've established a connection with a farmer, then you can start this relationship because this is what it's all about. Farmers want to feed their communities the best food that they can. And if it is possible in your district, you can go and visit the farm and potentially even bring some of the kids. They would really like that. There's something magical about touching soil and just getting dirty. So if, you're, if they give you the okay to do that, that's a possibility. Just to resume everything that we just talked about, the first thing is you need to find out what farms are in your area and whether or not you can buy from them. So do a Google search, that's step one, find food hubs, that could be step two, go to local grocery stores, that could be step three, maybe ask other schools and districts near where you live and where you work and see if maybe they are already doing something that you can do that makes sense because of its proximity to your location. Reach out to them and ask them whether or not they're interested, I guarantee that they're gonna be all about it. They really like the idea of helping their own communities. So just be persistent, call them multiple times. It's gonna be hard for them sometimes to get back to you. That's a farmer thing. But once you establish a relationship with them, they're gonna be there for you no matter what. And as an added bonus, because farmers sometimes produce way too much food, and they just don't know what to do with it, at some point it's gonna go bad or it's gonna go in the compost pile. So they'll give it away to places like schools or other kitchens like that that are doing cool things for a low price because that means that they're not gonna waste all their effort that went into growing those things.